Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Wise Wednesdays. I'm Diana Ferdow, the minister and um, a teacher at the Institute for Spiritual Development in Oneonta, New York. And we're one of uh, three other chapters around the United States. And uh, today we're going to meditate, which we do every Wednesday. Um, we follow this meditation, this guided meditation, with some time to talk about what we have received in meditation. Uh, and if you would like to join us, we're on a Zoom group <clears throat> right now. And um, if you go to isdoneanta.org, you will find right there on the calendar on today's date what the Zoom link is. So you can join us if you wanted to kind of dig in to see what the meaning is of what you received. And also the people on the call are all ready to um, give you a psychic reading as well. They like to do practice. We all like to do practice and, and kind of share with each other. So we do that as well. <clears throat> and um, so um, before we start, I just wanted to remind you we have um, we have a dream circle tomorrow morning, Thursday mornings at 10, that you can find and join where we discuss what received in our dreams and what the meaning of those dreams might be. Um, we have a big class coming up on January 28th, which is with Amanda Hoover, another of our esteemed, awesome faculty, all about creating, manifesting your new year with the new earth magical reality. So it's all about um, manifesting what, it, what you want to have happen in 2023 with all these new energies that are coming in. Everything's changing right now. Um, <clears throat> we on the earth plane are receiving a lot of different kinds of energies and updates. Um, I heard Cryon say, he's someone who channels, I heard him say that this is the year of recovery that after all this COVID time, the theme for 2023 is recovery, for people to recover themselves, to recover businesses, to kind of get back on our feet after a long period of everything being interrupted. Um, but we're getting back on our feet in a new way. So I'm going to uh, start with a beautiful prayer um, that comes to us from Sonia Choquette. <clears throat> Uplifting Prayers to Light Your Way. It's a fantastic <clears throat> book, a collection of different invocations that she does for troubling times, cha challenging times too. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Divine Spirit that unites us all, help me to listen to my intuition and follow it without question. Let me recognize its subtle signs and no longer pretend I did not notice these vital soul guiding signals along the way. Allow me to act decisively on the guidance I receive in a timely manner and not wait for guarantees before I take steps in the direction in which I am guided to walk. Please send in your angels to turn up the volume so that I will no longer miss my inner guidance, especially in the areas where I need it most right now. I thank you in advance with my whole heart and soul for being my guiding light. Amen and with infinite gratitude. Okay, so we will, just a reminder of why we've been doing this circle all along is to get really good at receiving our own guidance um, and not doubting when it comes in. It's very important when you get, especially when you get good at it, you recognize the way it's coming in, you know it's guidance, and to not ignore it and take action on it right away. Okay, so. This guided meditation is for when you don't know what to do. 
So I invite you for a second just to contemplate on something that's going on on which you don't know what to do because you're going to get guidance on it. Okay, so taking a moment. And remember that even if you decide on something right now where you don't know what to do, and I'm contemplating myself. Okay. I got mine. Um, even if you have decided on something, it may be that spirit is going to bring something different into your meditation. So follow what you get. That's why meditation is so magical. And remember that I'm guiding in a certain way with certain words. Um, and once you get into a meditative state, you'll find you may be being directed a little bit differently than the path that I'm taking you on. So um, feel free if you're getting images in the beginning and I'm not telling you yet, just go with what you're getting. <clears throat> and uh, you can either you know, have a pen ready to make a couple notes so you don't forget what image you get, what word you get, what phrase you just heard. You know, you can just have it ready or also keep repeating it to yourself when you get something. The guided meditation is nice because even if you take a sec to pick up your pen and write in your journal, you'll be able to quickly get right back into the meditative state so you won't miss anything that's coming up. And if you jump back into the meditation, and now all of a sudden Diana's over here and she says, look to your left on the ground and boom, it's there. Don't be surprised, okay? That you'll be able to jump right back in. Um, all right, so that being said, we'll get started. So you can begin by closing your eyes when you're ready, get into that really comfortable position Take a deep breath, and on the exhale, make sure you have a straight spine, and just simply focus on your breathing for a little bit now. Taking, purposely slowing down your breathing. Take a nice, slow, deep breath at your own pace. And on the exhale, let your shoulders drop. Letting the tension go from your face as you do that. Take another deep breath at, on your own pace. And on the exhale, let go of all the tension in your neck and your chin. Feel your neck loose and limp, loose and limp. And a third purposely slow, deep breath Hold it for a moment at the top. And on the exhale, let go of all the tension in your thighs, knees, ankles, and feet, allowing yourself to feel nice and drifty, allowing yourself to drift away, taking a well-deserved break from all the thoughts of a busy day. And on the next out breath, Picture all those thoughts going out with the out breath as thought bubbles, like little cartoon bubbles filled with words that you blow away into the bright light, into the sky that is just above your head. Watch them float away and pop. With a few breaths, and allow your breath to return to its own normal rate and rhythm. You continue to watch your breathing. And with every breath, you're getting closer and closer to that space of light within you that connects you to all that is. returning your attention to the light above your head. This is source energy. And I want you to imagine that you could breathe that light in through the top of your head, which is your crown chakra. 
and also between your two eyes, the third eye chakra. So breathing in through those two chakras or energy cent centers. And as you exhale, have it fill you and surround you with a beautiful opalescent shield. The energy as you breathe out becomes sort of sparkly, opalescent, and immediately shapes into an egg around you. And that egg shape stays with you and protects you for this entire experience and for the week ahead. And now feeling completely relaxed and at ease, relaxed and at ease. Anytime your attention wanders again, you can come back in to this meditation by simply breathing in with the words, peace be with me. And breathing out with the words, peace be with you. With every breath, you're breathing in that divine light or source energy light through the crown, through the third eye, and through the heart, all of the energy centers that connect you to source energy and all of the, those energy centers that are responsible for strengthening that intuitive connection, your inner knowing, that psychic knowing. It strengthens and clears those chakras or energy centers so that you are all the more empowered with confidence that you are completely connected and that whatever that comes into this meditation is completely real and is true guidance. So that beautiful opalescent egg-shaped shield starts to float a bit and you're inside of it. And you're just enjoying, there might be controls in front of you. And this little vehicle is floating above the land. It's a nice floaty feeling. And you're looking for a nice spot as you float over the hills, wherever you find yourself, just allow it to be. Beautiful colors, hills and mountains. And you look for a spot that's kind of marked with an X as a place where you're going to land. There's going to be a big field and an old, old oak tree. And as you find yourself seeing that spot, directing with your intention or your controls to gently float down to that spot and feel yourself landing with a little thud. Wherever your imagination takes you is just fine. And from even inside your beautiful shield, you can feel the grass beneath you. And you can feel the rough bark of that tree, tree trunk. And whatever kind of tree it is, just accept it. Yours may be different. And now this tree trunk is kind of just, you settle, settle in comfortably. So the tree trunk is at your back and it's holding you up, this beautiful tree with its roots deep in the ground. You have a sense of being held up by this tree and you notice a bright red cardinal in a nearby tree suddenly flying over to your tree to land in a bird feeder that you hadn't noticed before. <coughs> and you watch this gorgeous bright red bird taking seeds 
and some of them drop to the ground and land on the pages of a book just to your left. And it's a beautiful storybook with gold and writing on the cover. Just allow it to be how it is. Notice the writing on the cover and what it says. If you want to take a moment to write down what it says on the cover of your, your golden storybook. You open it to a spot that is bookmarked. And at the top it says today. And there's a section highlighted there. And brushing off the seeds, you can just make out what it says. Today, underlined, underlined. What does it say underneath that? It might be disappearing ink that suddenly is coming to life as a drop of dew lands on it from the tree. Could be a word or a phrase meant as a message in answer to a recent dilemma. Bring your dilemma to mind again for a moment. How does that answer the question? Take a moment and write down any phrases or words that you got. Is the image on the book or the words, are they now in motion? Giving you more information. Is there a song that would help to give you direction about what to do or where to turn or what your first steps would be about this dilemma? What's my first step, you ask? What's my first step? And if this is direction for the future, can you give me a little more? And now coming back, if you were writing, coming back, peace be with me, peace be with you. And then feel the tree behind your back. It's got your back for support. And there's that bird still picking at the bird feeder and it flies off suddenly, startled by another bird. It might be a squirrel trying to get at the fe feeder. And you notice the squirrel. What's the squirrel doing? 
The squirrel is meant there for additional information for you. What is the squirrel doing in your mind's eye? What is the squirrel doing? And you thank the squirrel for that little message. There might have been a song with it. Ask for the song. Just watching that squirrel. What is he doing that's meant as a message? Thank that squirrel as he skitters off, skitters right off, and you feel a slight breeze, and the breeze becomes a little bit bigger, and you rise for a moment and walk a few steps because you see a flag flipping in the wind nearby, flipping and flapping in the wind. What colors are on the flag? Are they in any particular order, the colors? Is it pointing in a direction? Notice everything you can about the flag. What's the message? What's the message around the flag? It should come back real fast. The minute you ask, you might think a word. You think you're thinking it, but you're not. It came to you. That was a message. More in terms of direction. Take a moment to get anything else that you get from that. You might be being shown other things that help you. And now gather all of those things up. The flag, put it in a little fanny pack that you're wearing. Zip that thing open. Stuff the flag in there to help you remember the squirrel, the message, what he was doing, the words that came to you while you were watching the squirrel, and what was in your book, all the way to the book of life, what was on the front cover. And just to remind yourself, go back over and brush the seed shells off the front cover. What was that on the front cover? And remind yourself of the message that you opened up to. And thank your spirit guides for that, those messages, the clarity. Hopefully you've taken a little time to write some of them down. And as you step back out from underneath that tree, that beautiful opalescent shield goes with you. And notice if there's anyone there, it might be a spirit guide, divine guidance, angelic presence, who are waving to you, that they were helpful in that message. 
and they send you love and unconditional support and wish you well as you find yourself floating in this beautiful egg-shaped shield back over rising up over the mountains waving goodbye to the oak tree coming back to the room in which you started the building in which you started floating gently landing feeling the seat beneath you rub your fingers together as you contemplate come out as you're ready if there's any additional things you wanted to write down take a nice deep breath for energy feeling completely renewed revitalized healed the clarity sticks with you crystal clear clarity about that dilemma wiggle your toes in your shoes take a deep breath for energy blow it out when you're ready open your eyes coming completely back feeling grounded in your space and if you wanted to join us on our zoom meeting to discuss what you got this is the last wise wednesday for a while so if you want to join us and just see what other people got and compare it to what you got come on through the link which is at isdoneanta.org and on today's calendar and otherwise we'll see you soon especially the intuitive practitioner program um, starting up again, we hope you'll join us. See you next time.